Greetings my esteemed subscribers, Glorfindel here, checking in with a few insights regarding Amazon's new Rings of Power series. Now to explain what this entire endeavor is all about, one could argue, one could say that it is a very expensive display of dominance, so similar as to how a schoolyard bully would go up to some younger children to take their toys, one, to display dominance, and two, to ventilate his own frustration at not having such nice toys himself. So that is how you could summarize the entire series, if you would like. So if you view this in the context of other ongoings in the Western world with subversion of history, I'm looking at you, BBC, you are subverting British history. You see burning of churches in France, you see the tearing down of monuments in all of the West. So you see this attack on European identity. This is just another attack on said identity. So Tolkien, of course, uh, an English patriot, an appreciator of Germanic folklore, mythology, culture, language, he would be very upset, I can only surmise, if he saw what Amazon has done to his work. And something else, if we want to psychoanalyze the reasons behind desecrating Tolkien's world like this, you have such a thing as the provocateur archetype who gets a kick out of provoking others. So they, of course, they see guys like me getting angry. And this is also why I debated with myself whether I should make this video or not, because I know also that they are getting a kick when they see guys like me getting sad, getting upset. That is why they are desecrating things such as our stories, our mythology, um, everything like this. So they do it to provoke a reaction. And this also, conveniently enough, then they can say, you know, all of this critiques we've gotten of our series, it's actually from intolerant right-wing extremists. It's absolutely nothing to do with the fact that the series is absolutely horrible in every way. So it's a convenient scapegoat to just say that, you know, these guys, they don't like it because of these other reasons. They know full well that the series is bad. No one will like the series. If you think you like the series, you are deluding yourself just as someone who likes modern art is deluding himself into believing it is good. If you have to convince yourself that something is good, which you do with modern art, by the way, you say to yourself, oh, but if I can rationalize why I like this painting, you don't like it. You don't need to convince yourself that something that is beautiful is beautiful. If you see a beautiful painting, it is beautiful. If you see a beautiful story, Lord of the Rings, it is beautiful. You don't need to convince yourself. So if you think you like the series, you are wrong and you should admit it to yourself. And speaking of which, we can say that we have two different perspectives. One perspective, the correct perspective, is of course guys like me saying that this is a subversion of Tolkien's work. Then you have the other camp who only will pretend to like Amazon's series to spite guys like me. They pretend to like it to spite guys like me. Now, here is something, as an art critic as I am, I have learned throughout my many years of admiring art, that good art comes from a position of passion, love, creativity. You can't buy these things. Money is great for many things. If you want to make something great, yes, money is important, but if you don't have... If you don't come from a position of love, which Tolkien did, he came from a position of love for all things Germanic. Germanic myth primarily, of course, and a sense of patriotism. He wanted to give England a myth, which he did. This is an English myth. He came from a position of love. He had great creativity and he created a beautiful story. This is the starting point and this is why everyone likes Lord of the Rings. Now this Amazon production team, its members, they come from a position of resentment, hate and destruction. And you can't build anything of beauty from this. Same thing as I've said that you should never base any identity on hate because it's not something that you can build a solid foundation upon because it will only ever be bad. So love comes first. Uh, I'm not going to go into a religious discussion here, but if you are religious, you can say that God comes first and then everything else can come after. So you need to have a, an appreciation for the beautiful, the good 
and love, then you can start building. Otherwise, you can't expect to create good art. So this is also why this Amazon series, it will not be well received. Because it's based on a desire for revenge against imaginary slights. It's based on a desire to desecrate the story of someone else. It's based on a desire to take something from someone else to say, this is ours now. This is what we can do with your story that is sacred to you. So basically, as you probably have surmised by now, I don't recommend you to watch it. I don't recommend you to hate watch it either. I don't recommend you to watch it with a critical eye. I recommend you to not watch it at all. Do not give these people your money, just as you shouldn't watch porn. Just as I've said in a great many videos that if you watch porn, if there is a demand for porn, there will be a supply for porn. It doesn't matter why you watch porn. You do it as long as people are watching porn, there will be a porn production. As long as people are watching Amazon's filth, there will be a continuous supply of said filth. So don't hate watch it. Don't watch it for fun or anything like that. Don't watch it at all. If you do, it's degrading to yourself. It's undignified. It's similar as to watching porn. So anyway, I just wanted to explain that. I want to do rant a bit. Of course, I am... Uh, yeah, I am a bit angry. I don't let this anger get to me. I don't let it influence my mental landscape. I don't let it make me have a bad day. I simply make this video to explain to you why they are doing it, what it is, and the psychology behind it. So hopefully this will help you resist watching it if you had the temptation of doing so. So anyway, thank you for watching and thank you for your support, XXO. Boom.